what is up guys and welcome back to another video and today we have 10 most disappointing marvel and dc movies let's get straight onto the list with number 10 avengers age of ultron some fans really liked this movie while others didn't like it at all this was such a disappointment because fans were expecting better the avengers movie that came out in 2012 was so amazing which is why people thought that age of ultron was going to be even better Sadly, there were a few problems with this movie, the first one being that the ratio of comedy to action. Some jokes were hilarious, while some were a little forced. Another problem is the relationship between the Hulk and Black Widow. Many people thought she had feelings for Captain America or Hawkeye, but no one thought she would end up liking the Hulk. Also, we found out that Hawkeye has a secret family in the movie, which kind of just came out of nowhere. Number 9, Spider-Man 3. Everyone loved the first two Spider-Man movies, but not everyone was a big fan of the third film. The director of the movies admitted that the problem in the last film of the trilogy were his mistakes. He even explained why he thought that Spider-Man 3 was awful. He said that the one thing that really doomed the movie was the fact that he tried to raise the stakes after Spider-Man 2. He said that he should have just progressed to the next step instead of trying to top the bar. Many fans thought it was too cheesy and they didn't like the emo Peter Parker because he acted like an asshole. Venom is one of the most loved villains in the Marvel Universe but the third movie did not do justice to his character. Number 8 X-Men Origins Wolverine According to the critics, this is one of the worst Marvel movies ever made. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 38% and Metacritic gave it a 40%. Where did Marvel go wrong with this movie? Well, they already made Wolverine the main character in the first three X-Men movies, so there wasn't really a need for an origin story since we already know so much about him. Another thing they got wrong was Deadpool. Wade Wilson made his live action debut in this movie, but the Deadpool movie just pretends as if this never even happened, which is actually a good thing. The Deadpool fans saw in X-Men Origins was not the same Deadpool they fell in love with in the movie that came out this year. Even Hugh Jackman, the actor who plays Wolverine, said that he was disappointed with the movie because it did not deliver his vision of who the character really is. Number 7, Superman Returns. By now, everyone knows that Superman is considered one of the most iconic superheroes ever made. Brian Singer, the director of the movie, responds to criticism and says there were a few problems with the film. He said that Superman Returns was a bit nostalgic and romantic, which is not what people were expecting. Singer said that he's still very proud of the film, but if he could go back in time, he would have done some things differently. Since he really didn't like the beginning of the movie, he would have strengthened the first act. Another thing that he wants to change is having less romantic scenes and more action scenes in the movie. One thing that fans did not like was the casting choice. Some people did not like Kevin Spacey as Lex Luthor and Kate Bosworth as Lois Lane. Number 6, Iron Man 2. Out of all three Iron Man movies, the second one is definitely the weakest. The biggest problem of this movie was probably the plot. The story was all over the place and it was difficult to follow. The first movie did an amazing job at creating a very interesting plot, but sadly the second movie couldn't do the same. The actor who plays Ivan Vanko said that he wanted the villain to be a complex character, but instead, Marvel decided to make a one-dimensional villain. He isn't the only actor who didn't like the movie. Robert Downey Jr. admitted that he thought Iron Man 2 was dissatisfying and disappointing. Josh Whedon, the writer and director of many movies, thought his favorite Marvel film is Iron Man, but the second one doesn't have a place in his heart. Number 5, Batman and Robin. These two characters are very iconic, and everyone loved them in the comics, but not everyone loved them in the movie. Many people consider Batman and Robin the worst superhero movie to ever exist. The script was incredibly stupid, and the performances were very weak. Also, Robin's annoying attitude and terrible puns made the movie unwatchable. George Clooney, the actor who played Bruce Wayne, thought that the movie was a complete disaster. Clooney apologized for destroying Batman. Joel Schumacher is the director of the movie, and he said that the only person to blame is himself. He said that he should have never said yes to this project. Number 4, Green Lantern. Ryan Reynolds is an extremely talented actor, but he couldn't save this movie. On a scale of 1 to 10, Reynolds ranked his Green Lantern movie a 1. When this film came out in 2011, almost every DC fan thought it was terrible. There were way too many problems with it, and fans just couldn't ignore all the mistakes. The special effects looked ridiculous, and the editing was awful. Another reason why people hated this movie is because it felt like it took someone one week to write the script. One of the biggest issues with the movie is the way Hal Jordan was portrayed. 
Sometimes he acted like a jerk in the film, which is why some fans found him very unlikable. Let's just hope that the Green Lantern Corp movie that comes out in 2020 won't disappoint us. Number 3, Batman vs Superman. Almost everyone who watched this movie absolutely hated it. Just like Suicide Squad, this film had a lot of pacing and editing issues. One reason why many people thought it was awful is because the writers tried to fit too much in one movie. Since the Justice League movie will come out in 2017, Batman vs Superman had to tease the fans by giving every character a cameo. Some fans didn't like this at all because their favorite superheroes were being introduced way too quickly. Another reason why so many fans hated this movie is because they did not like Jesse Eisenberg's performance as Lex Luthor. Also, some fans thought that there was not enough action scenes. Some scenes were a little boring and added nothing to the plot. Number 2, Suicide Squad. The trailers made this film seem like it was going to be the best comic book movie ever made. The main issue with this movie was the script. David Ayer, the director of Suicide Squad, only had 6 weeks to write a script, which is not enough time to make a good plot. Another problem with this movie is the villain, Enchantress, who was played by Cara Delevingne, who is a model, not an actress. Also, her motive was not clear which kinda made the movie a little confusing. Also, DC needs to fire their editor and hire a new one because the editing in this film was a complete mess. Most fans wanted to watch a movie that was about the villains, but instead these characters acted like heroes. The actors and actresses really tried their best, but it wasn't enough to make the movie likable. And number 1, Fantastic Four. This movie was an embarrassment to the Fox Marvel Universe. Sadly, there was nothing that made this movie stand out. Having a dark tone works with some movies, but it did not work with the Fantastic Four. It's almost impossible for anyone to enjoy this movie because they were trying way too hard to have a dark tone even though they didn't need one. There were pacing issues, poor character development, and not enough action scenes. The reason why this movie sucked so much was probably because of all the chaos that was happening while shooting the movie. The third act was a disaster, and it was very obvious that they had many reshoots. Stan Lee simply said that the reason why Fantastic Four failed is because he did not have a cameo. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Which movie do you think was the most disappointing? And then you were like, damn, that sucked ass. I want my money back. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more. I will see you all in the next video.